Welcome to episode 10, the final episode in this promised 10 part series. I've been posting consistently every Wednesday for the past 11 weeks. We have finally made it. Congratulations. But I don't think this will be the last video I'll be posting. If you want to know more, subscribe and like this video. Anyways, back on the 24th of March of this year, I had promised myself that I would post 10 videos on YouTube. I reckoned I had enough built up content that could guarantee that amount of episodes. And it's been years that I've been telling myself to post videos on YouTube. So for those of you who have been thinking of posting and you've said to yourself, I'll get around to it. Well, what worked for me was to actually not promise myself anything at the beginning. I figured, let me try one video. That worked. I tried another. That worked too. And then I had said to myself, all right, let's do 10 in total. And after now, what, 11 weeks, like I said, of posting, it's become a part of my life and somewhat a habit. So once again, welcome to episode 10, where we find ourselves in Thailand. A lot of people go to Thailand and see the common tourist attractions, which are perfectly fine. But if you don't know by now, I'm a little bit passionate about planes. So when I went on holiday to Thailand, I was like, I have got to go flying. So this is that experience. For any of you who are interested in doing a similar trip and have a pilot license, I recommend subscribing again and liking this video. And that will get you one more step closer to renting a plane and flying around Thailand. Okay, so this was what, six years ago? I think I started off my research with literally just a Google search. And then I ended up on prune.org, which is quite a famous pilot forum. And from there, I found the ThaiFlyingClub.com, which seems to be the point of contact for anyone who wants to rent a plane and fly around in Thailand. But it's not that simple. As with everything aviation, you wouldn't be able to rent a plane and take off on your own. Of course, with every nation state, you can't just, uh, well, you can't do that. But what you can do is you can validate your foreign license with the National Civil Aviation Authority. Now, in Thailand's case, allegedly, you can't even validate your license. So you would have to get the Thai license altogether. However, the most simplest way forward is just to go flying with a safety pilot or instructor. Essentially, they'll be pilot in command, but hey, at least you get to fly in Thailand. And that's what I did. So I flew on Hotel Sierra Alpha Tango Echo, which is a Cessna 172. And I believe I went up for an hour. Well, technically 14 minutes, you know, with startup, power checks and taxi again to and fro. And that brings us to our routine. So we flew out of Bangpra. Uh, excuse me if I'm not pronouncing it correctly, if there's anyone from Thailand. So Bangpra Airfield, which is a kayak called uh, Victor Tango Bravo Tango, which is quite a long way from Bangkok. I was so lucky at the time that I had a good friend of mine, Nitita, from Thailand. She's a professional photographer and writer. So you can check out her details below in the description. Uh, she drove us all the way uh, to the private airfield and of course in exchange, you know, she hopped onto the flight and, you know, it was fun. Um, this was great because we had met at a university in China, so it was just a great way to see her homeland. You know, it's, it was different. So, without further ado, instead of uh, me telling you where we flew, let me just show you. So, I'll hop on aboard and let's tie
Thousands, and we'll grow in number. Fuel.